Yeah, we got a little problem here. They are threatening me to kick my pawns out of here. They're gonna kick me out and evict me because of this pawn right here. Joey Slam. Because I'm so frustrated because I got a piece of paper that I can't stand. They are threatening me to kick my pawns out of here. They're going to kick me out and evict me because of this pawn right here. And they threatened to take my fish. Not even mold it. There's no mold. Look up. Look around. Look down. There's no mold. No mold. No mold. No <laughs> I think I saw some mold right there. Yeah, there's a little moly, moly, moly. <laughs> no, seriously, guys, I don't know what's going on. And I need to go and move all these fish. I have to move every single fish out of here before one day I'm outside with a video by myself, and they come in and they just take everything out by themselves. Oh, they still have to come in. They have to come in, yeah, they have to do an expen uh, inspection and everything like that, make sure it's all gone by two days. Very soon. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, bro, this is crazy. I gotta go ahead and get rid of all these fish. I gotta talk to the sort of things. Talk to you. You wanna take some fish? What fish you want? You wanna take? This is like a free giveaway to the flea market. Because right now, at this point, I just wanna have these fish for myself and everything, but I also wanna care for these fish. So, is there anything you specifically want? I know, actually, hold on. How would you like to get a gift? I'll take a gift. Yeah, yeah, I know he's not babysitting. <laughs> Would you like your insurance? Okay, but you know, you know what I can do actually? What? I can put the air distance sharks because they really aren't that predatory. They'll eat like tilapia and stuff like that off the ground. Yeah. And floating but You feed them mostly floating boats and you've seen me, right? Yeah. So I don't think they would eat my glowfish and stuff in my koi pond. I think they'd be fine in my koi pond. I think I don't see it here. Do you want them? I know you love them. I love them. I always wanted to get some sharks. Especially a lion too. Yeah. But, um... Merry Christmas. Yeah, I think it would be okay. Okay. So, you'll be doing me a favor as well. I mean, it sucks that I can do them away. Yeah. But I'll be happy because I know they're going to be with you. Yeah. So, we're going to be doing that. Um, could you give me a hand right now moving Yeti into my 150 gallon car? I'm so pissed. You don't put it in there, right? I have to put it in a burn. Because right now, I have to find a home for this. I don't want to find... I'm going to be giving, I gave Farley the other iridescent sharks. Let's yeah. go ahead and fast forward to that. Eee. All right, Slayer, so I'm here with my boy, Wild World of Farley. And guys, I've been telling you, uh, things are just being, things are just changing over here. I'm not really thrilled. Uh, like I, I was saying, there's a chance that they're going to be taking my fish. Uh, I told Farley a little bit about it. I got back from Brazil and things have just been nothing but like, Spiraling. I have no idea what's gonna be happening to my fish. So I just gotta find them a home. I don't want them to take take my fish. They're threatening. They're threatening to evict me and everything like that and take my fish. And uh, kind of distraught. I'm very upset because I spent, geez, Farley, what, a year what? setting this entire thing. Well, you set up that filtration with me too, bro. Uh, the last step. Yeah, bro. So it's just, I don't know. Uh, that's, that's sad. It's some sad. Yeah. Enter whatever word you guys want to insert right there. It's some sad stuff. At this point, dude, is there any fish you want here? I just want to make sure my fish are gonna be happy and healthy. Man, good luck. Like, I gotta find a home for for Kitty, the marble Carl. Gotta find a home for the hybrid, the red tail tiger shell nose hybrid. I gotta find a home for just about everything. I got plans, possibly do something with the the platinum red tail yeti. I don't even know, man. I just want to make sure my fish are okay. I want to make sure I can put these fish somewhere. You know what, dude? I know you like the more. I know you like the bearded shark. You just want to take them? Are you serious? Yeah, dude, I just I just want to make sure my fish are okay. I'm like I just gotta move them out before something more serious happens. You know, like I don't know if it's for sure or not. I still don't, but I just want to make make sure that my fish are out of here so they don't have an, an excuse to go ahead and take them. All right, wh which ones do you want? There's three white ones, three albinos, and then you know what? Bruce was in that lot that we took from that guy in yeah. Homestead. Yeah. Do you want to go ahead and do that? Yeah, sure. 
Yeah, you take, yeah, you can take Bruce and you can take one of the albino amigos. Okay. And then um, I got to figure out what I'm gonna do with this red tail too. I have you want me to house a red tail? I mean, he's he's too big for Catfish Kingdom, and he's big enough in Olympia that he's not gonna get destroyed. I mean, if you don't mind, dude. Yeah, I can house it for you. I just got to figure out what's what's going on here. There's just it's just it's very inconvenient. It's very annoying. And I just gotta figure out what what's the best course of action here. And I just know for the for my fish and everything, definitely in here. They're not happy with this. I came back to a letter. It's over there, and it's just they're not happy with this. So I gotta get rid of this. I gotta figure out what's going on because they are threatening eviction, and I don't need that, you know. So, all right. So we'll just get Bruce. We'll get one of the Abano sharks, and then we'll move this red tail wherever the red tail went. He knows something's happening because we're filming and he just, he feels it. He feels it too, man. He feels it that, that something's not, not right, you know? Yeah. I don't know, bro. I'm a little over it right now. To, to come home to this crap and so much other stuff going on, I'm like a little over it right now. So let's just, let's just get everything going and get them to your house safely, you know? You got us right, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my God. They really flip or die. <laughs> Perfect. All right, cool. Let's see if I can get Bruce. Yeah, yeah. Alright, gotta be cool. Ooh, oh, he's going crazy. Alright, he's in there now. Alright, here we go. Where's up, Tom? Got him. Alright. So walk from baby and let's play. Shaking his neck. No! Oh. Where does the shark? Where does the shark? Oh my god. Come on, Brucey. Alright, perfect. Alright. That was a disaster. <laughs> Just like this, bro. This is But the fish are safe. Fish are safe. Curse you, whoever complained. Curse you. Because I'm coming after you. And I'm going to make you part of one of my catching cooks. That's for sure. All right, guys. We're heading to Wild Wild Forest. We got to get this fish into a pond right now. So, Slayers, that's Bassy. That's Wild Wild Forest. Yeah, yeah. Our fish are in there. We're getting everything ready accordingly. Catfish Kingdom, Olympia. Now, bro, I have a little something in my hand. And I love... Love feeding Bassy. <laughs> I think Bassy is absolutely amazing. So with your help, you think you can go ahead and help me record as I, I feed Bassy? I got you. Hold on, I got you right here. There you perfect, go, my friend. Perfect, perfect. So this girl is so tricky. Oh my gosh, she's ready. She is so ready. Hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. It slipped out of my hand. It happens, it happens. All right, you ready, brother? I'm ready. Ready? Oh. Oh. oh right. Now that we're here. We're here. Now what I'm gonna, <laughs> if that makes any sense. My mind is still all over the place, guys. I am just, I'm not well. I'm a little stressed, I'm a little, a little sad. It's a combination of emotions. Yeah. Um, what I wanna do right now though, is find out where is the best place to have these fish. Okay, your red tail I believe can be put right here in Olympia. He's big enough that he's gonna be able to stand his own, okay. but he's small enough that he's not gonna fight for aggression. Okay, all right, cool. So should we just? Let's do it. All right. Oh, look at that beautiful red right. tail. Come on, buddy. Easy, easy, easy. There oh, okay. Easy, Bassy. <laughs> yeah. Easy, Bassy. Bassy needs some food over there. He's actually... He's a big nice size. Yeah, he's a nice size. He's a little too big for Catfish Kingdom because he'll fight for dominance 100%. for sure. He'll take over. Yeah. Right oh, now, man. right now, the king is uh, Tiger Shovernose. Perfect. So, here's the first fish leaving the house, bro. Mm. Hmm. It'll be okay though. It's temporary. Yeah, you're right. We'll figure this out, guys. We'll figure it out later. So now let's go ahead and move the iridescent sharks to Catfish Kingdom. All right, guys. So here we are at Catfish Kingdom. Just gonna kind of high ho and high ho. Move it all the way. So we go. Everyone looks good. Let's take a look at everybody. Everyone looks amazing. Hey, that's the king right there. I was talking about. This is the king of Catfish Kingdom right yeah. here. He's, Tiger Shovel Nose. He's amazing. So I'm gonna. I got in contact with. Let's catch more fishing. Yeah. So he's gonna be taking the other two. All right, perfect. Hopefully they don't jump. Oh yeah, that one's right there. It's a jump. Oh, oh there, there you go. go. 
Oh, you're trying to do. Oh! That would have been cool. That would have been cool. Oh! Oh, look Beautiful. at that. That's beautiful. Look at that color. Oh, that's that amazing. That shine. Look at that shine. He's subdued. I just secure the fins. He's okay. See he's that? great. He's doing, he's doing amazing. He's doing great. Falling. Easy, easy. All right, buddy. Welcome to your new home. I'm getting emotional here, brother. I feel you. It's like I'm literally dropping my kids off at the pool. The park. The pool. The pool. <laughs> Last but not least, my friend, Wild Willa Farley. I know you love these so much and they're amazing and i secured them already he's a little beat up right Just now a little bit oh, oh but the healing powers of olympia will oh, take care of him perfect so we're gonna have this guy right here look at he's just so beautiful yeah, he's a, so we're gonna add this. ow ow ow, ow. Easy. he's ready he is ready take your breath take a moment see you later Welcome to your new home, buddy. All right, Slayers, so as you can see, these fish are safe and sound. They're happy. I hope you enjoy them while with the party. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, my brother. Oh, man. All right, guys, let's, let's head home and, and catch up with Zach. And now we're here, and now it's your turn to get your iridescent sharks as well as coming with the other police. And then I have to get rid of these beautiful three that I love dearly. That one's hard to find, that, that half breed. The half breed's hard to find, the marble car half breed kitty, and Whiskers marble car is hard to find, too. So I'm gonna see if I'm gonna talk to predatory fins or somebody late. I don't know, I'm still trying to figure everything out because even though it's not certain that I'm getting kicked out, I just wanna make sure I kinda wanna be a, a step ahead of the game. Yeah. You know, like one day I come home and this is all gone, I'm like where are my fish. Yeah. Versus now I know where my fish are gonna be. And yeah, look at them. Comes up, so happy. Yeah, that's cool. Kitty's awesome. I take Kitty, but yeah, that's, I don't do no fish babysitting, bro. Yeah, you've done too much already for me, bro. <laughs> I mean, I gotta be honest, you've done way too much. You did the Marvel party, you brought it back out. Oh, yeah, that's true. He looks great. I look all this was me. Everything's cool. Remember when we did that? That was crazy. It was yeah. good. And then also, you took care of the other tail, so yeah. I'm kind of glad I'm getting ready to go fish. It's like, too much responsibility for you, because then you want to help me out. So I was like, just take this fish and do what I'm doing. That's awesome. We'll figure it out. I wouldn't have wanted your distance. I caught a big one at one time. I just remember because he was kind of sick of it. No, woman silence. <laughs> well, well, let's see if I can go ahead and get this line and run the red tail over the inside there. Bang, that thing is fast. It's really fast, bro. Are you sure? Are you sure? I think it's might have used the next one. Ready? to complain! I'm, I'm sorry for yelling, I'm very upset. It's all right. I know, I, I know after you're probably heard me look days they're getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool, bro, you want to go ahead and get your medicine sharks good to go? Yeah, that's such good. Dude, I just don't even want to talk about it. I'm sorry. Bro. I'm very upset. I'll talk about it in detail, probably in a video or something, if it really happens. I just want to make sure that everything's okay. Bro. So you don't know 100% what's going on? I don't know, I might have to even get rid of everybody here. Imagine getting rid of all these tanks on top of that. The gopher, the puffer, everything. Imagine that. Are you going to let us know? Yeah, I'll let you know ahead of time. All right. Yeah, you I'll got to make a video with okay. Yeah, I'm going to let everybody know what the, right. what the heck's going on. So we're going to really find out together, guys. It's Hopefully you get to keep this fit. Yeah, bro. Then, there were three. Three. 
That's all I got left now. Yeti's inside, he's doing good. Zach catch him on fishing, took his air dust and sharks while well, well, got his air dust and sharks, guys. I hope it doesn't come to this where we don't have to go ahead and get rid of this. It's just so, so irritating. Uh, but Slayers, I hope you know this episode. I sure am, I'm just real stressed, to be honest. I'm a little stressed about this whole entire situation. But stay tuned, guys. I will keep you updated. Now we need to find these three guys right here a home. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next Slay Venture. Booyah.